What's going on, folks out there? I'm Amos Morales the Third, and I'm joined by UFC light heavyweight Ryan Bader, who's going to be fighting Daniel Cormier June 6th. Tickets go on sale tomorrow, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, talk to me a little bit about the fight. Uh, I know you're on <laughs> kind of a streak here. Yeah. So just talk to me a little bit about that one. Yeah, you have two guys. I'm ranked fifth. He's ranked third um, on a four-fight win streak. He's coming off fighting for the title. Uh, lost a, a close fight to John Jones. And so for both of us right now, both in the top five, it could be, you know, a title elimination bout here. So the next winner could get a title shot, you know, depending how the fight plays out and all that kind of stuff. But, um, you know, and two, two guys have been at it for a while and, uh, you know, want the same thing. All right. Now, uh, I know you've been on a bit of a streak. Just talk to me a little bit about, uh, you know, the run you're kind of on and, you know, yeah. just how you're uh, able to <clears throat> bring together these victories. Yeah, I've had 25 or so fights and, and uh, you know, sometimes it's, you know, 20 and four plus some exhibition bouts on the Ultimate Fighter. Um, you know, and sometimes you have your ups and downs, but I've put together a good little four fight win streak against top competition. Um, and it, it's just a, a testament to um, what the things I'm doing right and the people that are around me. And so for me, that gives me confidence going into a big fight like this that you know I have been stacking up these wins I have been beating you know top notch you know fighters and I get to go in there and prove myself once again and get to the pinnacle of the sport which is a championship okay now talk to me a little bit about uh Cormier obviously he's going to be one of the tougher opponents you mm -hmm. faced uh, he's coming off a title shot he's obviously going to be hungry to get back so and he's also got a very similar style to your own he's yep. a wrestler strong wrestling base just talk to me a little bit about uh know what you're gonna have to do yeah I mean, I'll tell you what if you look at my record I fought nothing but the best guys I fought all the legends of the sport um, you know in any weight class and you know I I'm not afraid to go out there and test myself against the best guys I mean we never turned down a fight and uh, you know this is one of those fights DC's a, a very good fighter he's a similar background in wrestling and uh, you know he, he's hungry because he had a taste of, of almost getting close to you know winning that title yeah. but you know it, I think it's my time now and I get to go out there and, and and not only beat Daniel but go out there and do it right and prove to the UFC and everybody out there that I deserve a title shot all right so now talk to me a little bit about uh, fighting in New Orleans obviously I know your last fight was in Sweden yep so just talk to me a little bit about fighting in New Orleans does that add anything different to the training knowing you're gonna have to yeah, no, it's actually going to be a, a little easier for me because I've last, you know, seven fights I've been bouncing around all over the world. I fought in Australia a couple of times. I fought in Japan. Yeah, you know, I uh, fought in recently in Sweden. I uh, fought in Brazil. You know, so it's nice to have a fight here and uh, home country. You know, even though um, it's actual uh, DC's. <laughs> you know, from Louisiana, so I'll have to go against the crowd there. But it'll be nice to jump on a plane, be here in three hours, and not have to worry about a whole day of traveling. Um, you know, I can get the food and, and preparation that I needed to have before everything can be right here and laid out in front of me. Um, so it just makes it a little easier. All right. Now you mentioned food. I know you've been in New Orleans for a couple of yeah couple of hours now. Uh, is your nutrition going to be upset with you for yeah you know, a little bit for right now? You know, I we I've been training hard, and then uh, you know I a lot of the time in here because um, I knew I was coming down here to New Orleans and to eat the food I want to eat and you know experience it a little bit. So you know it's back to hardcore training on Monday and uh, getting after it then, and then from there on out, I'm watching my nutrition. I'm watching everything that goes into my body. Um, you know, training that whole kind of situation. So, but as of now. We, we've been eating pretty good here. All right. Now, uh, if you had to pick like five things about the fight night that, you know, if you were a fan, mm -hmm. what would those be? Like, what were the five things that you would say, if you're a fan, this is why yeah. you need to come and check this uh, out? Number one, the implications of our fight between DC and I, you know, it could be the next guy gets a title shot. So you, you got to tune in for that. Uh, number two, the whole overall car, card. We have uh, three or four Louis Louisiana natives here mm -hmm. fighting and the whole card stacked. You got old legends like Dan Henderson and all the new guys coming up. And so, um, you know, that card's just going to be great. And, you know, it's at the Smoothie King Arena. You know, the last time it was here, it was at a smaller venue. And so that's going to be packed and loud. And if you haven't experienced the UFC live, if you've just watch it on TV you have to be in that atmosphere you have to watch the fights watch the videos that they play you know and uh, the highlight reels and, and I'll be in that atmosphere um, and then come down here for the food if you're out if you're not from Louisiana <laughs> and in uh, the drink so uh, all that in combination I think it, this is a perfect destination fight if you're thinking about going to a live UFC to come down here fly down here uh, make a trip out of it and have fun 
All right. Well, folks, that's about all I got for you. Um, so, folks, for Ryan Bader, I'm Amos Rather III. Thanks for watching. Thank you.